This is a puzzle designed for parrots, and this is a wild cockatoo attempting to solve it. This puzzle requires problem solving skills, dexterity and memory skills, and quite frankly, I wasn't sure it was possible. What happened though, was truly extraordinary. Australia is home to a huge variety of parrots. These gorgeous birds are known around the world for their intelligence and problem solving skills. But there's one species of Australian parrot more notorious than any other. This is a sulfur crested cockatoo. Far from suffering from human habitation, this species of cockatoo is thriving in urban areas and they have quite the destructive reputation. They are incredibly intelligent and combine that with their incredibly powerful beaks, they can quickly lay waste to balconies, fly screens and building facades seemingly just for the fun of it. Their call is also, oh, just so lovely. <laughs> This is our resident cocky. We named him Popeye. I know, I know. Unfortunate name, but it stuck. Popeye comes around most afternoons for a snack and sharing some apple with him became somewhat of a ritual. Cockatoos can live past 80 years old in captivity and 40 in the wild. So with his eye injury and lack of a flock, I feel that he's an older bird. So I don't mind giving him a little treat now and then. Considering how intelligent and curious these birds are, I wanted to try and give Popeye some puzzles to solve instead of just straight feeding him. Parrots solving puzzles isn't anything new and it's been well documented with parrots in captivity, but this is a totally wild bird. My first experiments were to simply cover up the food with some cardboard as he watched on. He took a liking to apples, but like most parrots, he goes bonkers for seed. I don't give him too much, but there is no better incentive. It didn't take him long to figure out where the food had gone and remove the cardboard cover. So let's design a brand new puzzle just for him. A parrot puzzle. We brainstormed a few ideas ranging from lever activated shoots to shape based puzzles and more and I may try different ones in future, but my favourite is this Donkey Kong style puzzle with an angled seed path blocked off by dowels. The idea is that as each dowel is removed, the seed flows down further till it comes out the bottom as a reward. For this puzzle to work, the sides need to be transparent so Popeye can see there's actually seed in it as an incentive and then work out how to get it. The design was drawn up in Fusion 360 and I used laser cut clear acrylic to create the transparent windows with a 3D printed path sandwiched in the middle. The feet were 3D printed too and the whole assembly secures together using four M6 bolts. I asked a few bird owners what wood is safe for parrots and general consensus is that straight pine is fine, but it's soft so they'll quickly destroy it. And I know he's just a wild bird so probably choose on all manner of things, but I wanted this puzzle to be durable and safe enough for him to investigate with that huge beak. The final puzzle seems to work great with only one or two seeds falling out of the holes as the dowels are removed. And honestly, I see this as more of an incentive rather than a problem. So can you solve it? My initial idea of threading a belt through the legs was a failure, but on cue Popeye showed up for his daily offering. So I just threw some string around the legs to hold it in place and presented the new puzzle with a few seeds in front to tempt him in. With his eye injury, he's a lot more cautious than some other cockatoos. And this caution was very clear here. He would approach, but keep his distance. So I closed the fly screen on the balcony to give him a little bit more confidence and slowly but surely he approached the puzzle. You can see him try to figure it out. He can see the seeds, but there's this invisible barrier in the way. He also has a quick lick at the bottom bolt because it looks a bit like a seed, but he quickly realizes that it's not. Once he realizes the puzzle isn't a threat though, it's solving time, keeping an eye out while going in for investigation with his Speak. It really doesn't take quite long before he gives the dowel a test and seems a little shocked when it moves. Maybe the back will reveal more answers. He does try and cheat the system to get through the top, but the thick acrylic holds up to the abuse. Purely by chance, he knocks the top dowel almost free, which lets a few seeds escape. But unfortunately, my failure to secure the puzzle properly is causing him all sorts of issues. Nevertheless, he does persist and manages to clear the top dowel. Now watch this. As soon as he realizes the dowels are important, he almost instantly tries to remove the bottom one. Sadly, again, the puzzle just isn't secured properly and he eventually just tips it over. So at this stage, I intervened and reset it with a little bit more string to secure it. I know it's not perfect. And again, he tries to pull it over because that's what he's just learned. But once that doesn't work, he grabs the bottom dowel and solves it. 
<laughs> Needless to say, I'm incredibly proud of my little cocky boy, but that crappy securing method needs to be upgraded pronto. So I redesigned the legs to use an immense belt to latch it down for the next day when he came by. This, however, did not go to plan because we have a new visitor. This young kookaburra is another Aussie icon with their laughing territorial calls, but they're also vicious predators, so Popeye was out of here. He hung around on a distant TV aerial, but just wouldn't come close while the kookaburra was about. However, this guy did. This younger looking cockatoo just happened to see the possibility of food and settled on our balcony. So let's take this opportunity to test the parrot puzzle against a brand new bird. This parrot isn't as skittish as Popeye, but still treats the puzzle with great caution. Remember, this bird has never seen this thing ever before. All he can see is that there's a few seeds in it, and if it's worth trying to get them or not is totally his choice. Just like Popeye, he tries to get them through the plastic initially, and failing that has a futile attempt at going in through the top. The puzzle is much more secure now though, so there's no way it can be tipped over. So once this fails, you can see him checking the whole thing out. How does one get those delicious seeds? The dowels are tricky because they need to be pulled out at the correct angle or they'll bind up. The fact he keeps trying to pull them out though is something I find really fascinating. Once he gets the dowel free though and tries one last time to taste those seeds through the plastic, it only takes one try to remove the final dowel. And just like that, the puzzle is solved in under one minute. Popeye was watching this unfold the whole time from a distance, but with the kookaburra hanging about, he didn't swing around until the next day. And here he is. This is the third day Popeye has seen the puzzle, but only his second attempt ever at solving it. You can see he is far less cautious about it because he knows what it is, and instead of going through the plastic or going through the top, he goes straight for that dowel. And once he's casually assessed the situation, he just goes back in, and just like that, it's solved in under 30 seconds. The next day is very much the same story. He's learned that the puzzle is not a threat and how to solve it. This time he does it from behind. Still, cockatoos are incredibly curious, so that doesn't stop him investigating the puzzle further from every angle once it's empty of seeds. And once he gets bored of that, he starts investigating my audio recorder. This was an incredibly fun and eye-opening experiment. These birds are so incredibly intelligent and sulfur-crested cockatoos are thriving in urban areas, which is great. But many other species of parrots around Australia are facing extinction due to habitat loss. In particular, species of black cockatoos endemic to Western Australia are at very real risk of going extinct in our lifetimes. The Karakan Black Cockatoo Conservation Centre rehabilitates and releases black cockatoos and you can support their work by sponsoring a bird. I have no affiliation with them at all. It just means a lot to me and they do good work, so I thought I'd mention them here. If you have any further puzzle ideas you'd like me to offer Popeye, let me know in the comments below because I definitely want to keep testing his intelligence. And if you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing because it's my aim here on Makers Muse to empower your creativity through technology and I'd love to have you on board. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.